Hey there, it's Uncle John again. And this was originally not going to be a commentary video, so I didn't record a commentary on it, and so we're doing commentary afterwards. Um, this is actually just a test video of my equipment and my abilities to record. And uh, I'm, but I got some stuff that I thought would be useful in it. So first we're going to just kill these um, stall goblins with a uh, dazzle fruit, which instantly kills um, the uh, guys in a certain area, the stall enemies in a certain area. And then I realized that this was not actually where I thought I was and that they're aren't any useful weapons around. Um, so I went elsewhere. Um, and I actually do a lot of running around in this because I'm just checking my ability to record in, uh, in actually 1080p, um, the, the best resolution that the switch can reasonably do and the best that it advertises to my capture device. So, um, this pause here is actually where, um, I had some stuff that I needed to take care of and I probably should try and cut this out, but that would require an actual interactive, um, video editing. And right now I'm just using FFmpeg straight up. So from here I go and I find a different, um, a different, Lionel to kill. Um, I'd actually just killed the Lionel in my previous, um, recording at 720p, uh, which that's not anything that I thought that I would want to share particularly, uh, since now I have this 1080p footage. Um, and if anybody would like a, a video on my actual recording process and the tools that I use for that, um, that actually could be something I could make a video on. But um, this was basically just me discovering how to get around the CPU bottleneck to actually succeed at making videos. So, um, under each stable, there is a Lionel. So, this was just me going to a different stable to fight a different Lionel. Um, now, I was... My defense buff had worn off. Um, and wearing the Barbarian set, you get an automatic attack attack buff. So usually what I do is I'd like to match my buff where if I'm using a attack buff, then I want to use a defense buff against tough enemies like this. Um, and that is specifically for tough enemies like Lionel's. Um, I actually, in my video with the flux construct did not, because I actually think that the flux constructs are easier than the Lionel's. Um, they might be a little bit more annoying than the Lionel's, but they, they generally do not do as much damage. Um, I still have Tulin out because against these, he's not a problem. Now I missed several flurry rushes here and here I use a dazzle fruit to get rid of one of the Stall Coblins that is harassing me, and Tulin goes ahead and helps to crowd control the other one. Um, on some of these ground pounds that the uh, that the uh, Lionel is doing, I do manage to get perfect parries in. Um, but mainly, what I'm trying to do with Lionels is get flurry rushes. Um, because those just let you not take damage and let you do a massive amount of damage in return. Uh, now, 
that time I missed the perfect parry on the, the fire, so uh, I still managed to get the shield block on it because it's not powerful enough to break through the, the Hylian shield. But I'm probably taking a lot of damage to my shield from all of these powerful attacks that I'm just tanking on it. But the perfect dodge there gets me another flurry rush and my weapon is messed up. So um, I'm trying to do... Okay, I switched over to a um, Zora weapon, so I wanted to hit myself with a Splash Fruit to um, increase its attack power, and then it went red. So I switched over to my Decayed Sword, that's a uh, Decayed Royal Broadsword with a uh, Silver Boko Horn on it, and... Uh, from there, I also switched out f to kill that stall Coblin, and I collected a little bit of loot. There were some extra mushrooms over here, um, which are always good to collect. And then... This uh, Boko head, I made some poor decisions chasing after that, and then I just go back for my loot. Uh, one thing to be aware of is that most loot does not survive if you fast travel, regardless of whether you're fast traveling within the same area or not. Um, so it's, it's generally best to get your loot. Um, now because I had those two damaged weapons, I wanted to go and hit up some Octorox, some rock Octorox. And, uh, because of the ability that rock Octorox have, I have them marked on my map as many as I've found with hearts. So that gives you a good indication of where they are. So I'm teleporting to the Elden region where Rock Octorox live and healing up a bit. I'm going to go ahead and use my pins to get me close to the Octorox. So that is what I did. And um, I still have my defense boost for this first Dr. Rock, which winds up being quite fortunate. So we're making our way over to the Rock Dr. Rock. And uh, with the Rock Dr. Rock, all you really need to do is drop your weapon and let it suck it in. So this one had nice unobstructed uh, pathway, so it throws my weapon at me and I accidentally release my shield too soon. And then if you feed them a bomb and they chew it up, it will kill them. So that is one kind of advanced technique for taking care of Octorox. Uh, after that, I go to the next one that I want to get. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mark it on my map as well. I was just heading back the way that I came originally. Um, when I'm looking at this, I think that this is actually up on top of the hill. So I mark a spot on top of the hill to go towards. And I head on over to the spring. And there I noticed that I missed a... Um, Fireproof Lizard. So I go ahead and change clothes so that I can sneak up more easily on those Fireproof Lizards. And in a second, I'm also going to change my uh, Sensor Plus to the Fireproof Lizards because I've already got the Octorox that are my main goal marked on 
the map, and I'm using my pins for those, so it's not quite as critical to get the Octorox because I know where most of those are. Um, now, because I took a little bit of damage from the uh, a little bit of damage from the Lionel and also from getting hit by my own weapon when the Octorox spit it out. I took a little dip in the um, hot spring there by the uh, Bistro. And I try to ascend up here, but I don't manage it. Um, and... <clears throat> I am trying not to do anything that can't be done by my uh, main person who I kind of created the channel for. Here there's a um, Korok, and I decide that I don't really care to do the Korok, but I do want to go ahead and get my Sensor Plus set, and I'm not perfectly smooth with it. Uh, there's a little bit of hesitation as I look for my uh, lizard and then set it, and then I go ahead and I pick it up um, because the Sheikah armor or the Yiga armor, both of them, um, makes it incredibly easy to sneak. Um, but there's a, a little quest that you have to do to get the Sheikah armor without paying an incredibly excessive amount for it. However, if you were to pay the incredibly excessive amount, once you complete the quest, the girl will give you the excess money back. So, um, if you, if you already spent the 5,000 rupees per piece on the Sheikah armor, you can get about 4,000 for each piece back. Um, here I'm just going to go ahead and kill that bird. And um, I did not realize it, but that bow is actually also going to be pretty close to spent. Um, since I'm wearing the Sheikah armor instead of the Goron armor, I wanted to avoid getting hit by the Fire Chew. And I just am looking at my my map and figuring out where everything is. And on the way there, there's another monster camp. Um, okay, I got that Bokoblin from... No, that was not the Bokoblin. That was the um, Elden Ostrich, and I got it from the distance. And then I also picked up a fireproof butterfly, um, which are slightly more powerful fireproof buff than the fireproof lizard, but they're not as common, so I have my sensor set for the lizard. Uh, I do have a complete compendium, so I can use my sensor plus to find anything that I want, um, which does make farming considerably easier. Uh, I am not sure if those... I don't think that those Dragon Bones count as Shatter Damage, so they don't let you uh, break the Stone Armor. Uh, now, I'm up on top, and I'm getting very close to my heart that I'd set, and I'm about to realize that the Octorok is not at the top of this hill, but there's a camp of um, moblins over there, and I want to take them out. So uh, I use my, one of my favorite tactics, uh, especially with moblins, and I just hit them with metal buds. Um, and I go ahead and hit them all with metal buds so that even if one of them, the metal wears off, they'll keep fighting. So, and then I run around and keep out of the way of them. Um, 
I do kill this one myself because it's too far away to aggro its friends. So, um, I don't think that I've really discussed my tactics as far as weapon fuses go. Uh, and even if I have, there could be viewers who haven't viewed it for the viewed my other videos. So the reason that I, um, I do tend to have a system with my fuses with my weapons that I'm planning on keeping and probably repairing. I use Lionel parts, but my weapons that I'm just going to consider to be disposable, then I use, um, either Bokoblin, uh, parts or, um, resolve those parts if I want to have a slashing weapon or if I want to have a bludgeoning weapon I will use with the shatter ability I'll use the um, the moblin horns or occasionally I'll use the horriblin horns um, the the moblin horns do have about one point advantage over the horriblin horns uh, in every single category. I Before I got good at doing Lionels, I would use the Moblin horns for the weapons I was keeping, and I would use the um, the Lozolfos horns for the slashing weapons I was intending on keeping. That way, when I'm going through the menu, it's very easy to tell if I want to keep the weapon or not. Uh, but Coblin Horns are incredibly plentiful. Um, some people don't like the silver Bokoblin Horns. They think that they look silly, but I don't find them that bad. They they are a little silly. Now here what I did was I, I didn't really succeed at what I was trying to do. I dropped the sword um, for the... Octorok to suck up while I was falling, but there's some terrain obstacles and it wasn't able to suck up the sword. So I had to ultra hand it to get it where it could hit it, get it. And I suffered a little bit of damage while I was doing that. Uh, but the Octorok goes ahead and does that and I get my uh, more preferred weapon back, but I don't care for killing um, for killing Bokos, and I collected a um, a Royal Guard sword from that, so I got rid of my Royal Guard halberd that I had from the Moblins. Um, so I went ahead and uh, put the Moblin horn on that because it's the most powerful disposable merge that I have. But then I noticed when I um, hit the Moblin with a muddle bud that there were actually some armored guys down there which made the moblin horn a great deal but instead of fighting them i hit them with muddle buds so that they would fight each other and the moblin headbutt shatters armor so the moblin went ahead and took them out for me but because they were armored it's uh, fist and slash attacks didn't do anything to them. So, uh, with this, I lost that 12 power bow. Um, and I wanted to make sure to have a single target bow because I wanted them to fight each other for me. I did not want to do too much damage to that silver uh, moblin before it could kill its friends. Um, but once, once the silver moblin was, um, 
once the blue bokoblin was um, properly uh, de-armored, it just was too weak to actually manage to do anything against the 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 moblin. So I tanked a little bit of a hit, but um, and I did not get any flurry rushes in on this guy because I just didn't do very good at those and wound up just beating it to death. Um, which always works. Uh, that was a soldier's broadsword, which does not have as good of a um, special ability, in my opinion. So... I just left it alone, and then I had a few more um, I caught I was chasing after some more of the lizards and moving generally towards the next um, the next Octorok. so. I have a this is a my this is a zonite bow which has some special features to it and it was badly damaged so I went ahead and got it fixed and this is actually the part that made me decide to go ahead and um publish this and do a voiceover on it so uh, rock Octorox can be kind of annoying to kill, um, but there is one technique that is very effective that you can use on Rock Octorox, and you can also use it on uh, Taluses and Hinoxes sometime, which is called the Return to Sender. When an enemy shoots a projectile at you, if you can get when it's in the air and use recall on it, it'll go back towards the enemy. So... That makes recall a very useful ability to have and to use quite frequently. And then um, I took a quick bath in this hot spring river that runs by Goron City. Um, the entire river is considered a hot spring, which is great for some free free healing when you're in the area. Uh, I don't usually seek out the hot springs for themselves, but if I'm in Elden, it's, it's hearts or hearts. Um, so I'll take advantage of them. Now, under the hot springs in the depths, there is lava. So that is something to be aware of if you are uh, if you know where some lava is down below then you'll know where a hot spring is up above there I hit the wrong button when I meant to save and now I'm ending the video <laughs>